Is there more variability in the height of Jake's friends or Jen's friends? Hint, use the MAD to determine your answer and round to the nearest tenth in all steps of determining the MAD. MAD stands for mean absolute deviation. And the way that we find that is first we find the mean of each data set. So the mean of Jake's friends, what I'll do is I'll add all of these together and then divide it by however many data points there are. In this case, I'll divide that number by 8. So when I add together all of those numbers, I get a total of 416. And when I divide 416 divided by 8, I find out that the mean height of Jake's friends is 52. Now to find the mean absolute deviation, I'm going to see how much each number in that data set varies from 52. So the first number is 53. That's 1 away from 52. 52 is 0 away, and so on and so forth. 56 will be 4, 55, 3, 48, 4, 47, 5, 51 is 1, and 54 is 2. When I add all of those together, I'll get a total of 5, 8, 12, 17, 18, 20. And then I'll divide 20 by all 8 data points to find that the mean absolute deviation of Jake's friends is 2.5. Next I'll repeat the process with Jen's friends. So first I'll find the mean of Jen's friends. The mean height, when I add all of those numbers together I get a total of 374. Notice how she only has 7 data points and when I divide that by 7 I find the mean is 53.4. Remember it says to round to the nearest tenth. So now I will calculate the exact same way, the variation in each number, starting with 56. Well, that is 2.6 away, then 57 is 3.6, 53 is 0 0.4, and I'll continue this process. And when I add all of those numbers together, I get a total of 21.4 divided by the 7 data points equals a mean absolute deviation of 3.1, meaning that Jen's friends have a higher variability or more variability in their data set than do Jake's friends.